We're going to also meet our visiting family who join us as sort of a New York, New England uh, gathering of family members in just a moment. But first, how about a hand for a very special guest, special friend of mine, too, when she subbed for you when you were on vacation Indeed. on the cable show, Eartha Kitt! Yes! Yes! yes. Remember when I left you, you were on the floor. What happened? Yeah. My wife's watching now. We're all everywhere. <laughs> we helped him up. Yeah. Good, good to have you here. Good to see you yeah, again. And congratulations. Thank you. You were made it on national television. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> I never got a chance to thank you for filling in for and me. And thank yeah. you for not being here for me to take over no for problem. you. No problem. <laughs> I had to scurry back quick, I'm guessing. <laughs> I want to repeat a, a quote that I mentioned when I introduced you last time you were here, and that was the quote that Orson Welles made about you. He described you, and I think accurately so, as the most exciting woman in the world. Ah, oh, you're making my day. Yeah. <laughs> All I need now is for someone to make my night. You know, you could just read the phone book and I guess. <laughs> Yes, Tom. Yes, uh, yes. That, that, just... kind of, that kind of praise, uh, did, did you take it to heart? Do you really think of yourself that way? or are you, are you No, but I'm glad you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, no, I don't take anything like that very seriously. As you know, we girls don't. We oh, don't. You, you, know, you take the bad with the good. Yeah, yeah. We but do. we use it when we have to. Absolutely. I, I'm still surprised to read you talk about how you are really essentially a shy and somewhat insecure person around very, people. Very, very. I don't think anyone would think of you that way. Well, that's the idea. We, as a person on stage and a personality, we're not supposed to let you know how scared we are. Mm -hmm. Because what did Freud say? The most introverted people are the most outgoing people mm -hmm. when we're in a position that we have to. Besides, I had to make a living. I couldn't afford to be just, in, in, you know, intimidated sure. by myself all the time. I had to go out and do whatever it was necessary for me to do. I imagine a lot of people watching right now would like to know how you find that switch and how you throw that switch to turn yourself from the insecure person that you are at your core yeah. to the person able to get out there and perform. And it's called hunger. Uh, okay. <laughs> Very hungry yeah. and necessary mm -hmm. because when you are in need of something and there's nobody there or in, there's no other means for you to survive, you have to come into your own self and find a way to do that. Mm -hmm. Don't you do that all the time? Yeah, I think so. I think you do. I think, if, now, Lori's not feeling that great today. You have to kind of yeah, turn you, the you switch, You perk right? up. Yeah, but I think you come by it honestly. Like, you've worked for everything you've had in your life. Yes, but there was nobody there to say, well, the public did, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it wasn't for the public, I don't think I would uh, be, would become whom I am. Yeah. So thank you very much, public. Yeah. I really am very yeah. grateful for that. And uh, at the age of 69, I'm still here. And I hope that I, when wow. I get to be 169, yes. you'll still be there. Yeah. And you're guesting on this show again <laughs> at that point. And you'd cool. still be turning us on, wouldn't you? Wow. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Where are you now? Uh, <laughs> 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 My dogs are going to be jealous when I get home. <laughs> you notice he's been dry clean since cable. Oh, have you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We cleaned him all up for the network. Oh. Tom is still as dirty as he was in the old days. Yeah, but don't the suit fit nice, oh, yeah. Right? yeah. Do you ever get tired of showing clips of you as Catwoman? Because we never get tired of seeing it. No, because it's one of the best things I've ever done. Yep. I love being Catwoman. Can we do that? it was just me. Yeah, yeah. and it was oh, so good. Right. Here's Eartha Kitt as the best of the Catwoman. Now, are you coming quietly, Catwoman, or must we use force? Your silver-tongued oratorio has convinced me, Batman. I hereby remit myself to your muscular custody. I'll try to pull the wool over our eye sets. Now, would I do a thing like that? <laughs> In all honesty, Tom, yeah. I never saw it. Really? The only time I, I have a chance to see it is when I do these kind of shows with you all, that I get a little slip in, a uh, snippet in of myself mm -hmm. once in a while. You did something that absolutely amazed me when you were here last. We don't have oh, yeah. the same kind of coffee table, so I wouldn't advise doing it here. But maybe on the edge of that, do you mind? Well, <laughs> now that you've told me that you want me to do it, <laughs> I do don't mind? think I have a choice. It's legendary. I've, I've only ever heard that you did this because I wasn't here. But I've so. tried to do this. I work out a lot. I can't do this. I, I may not be able to do it this morning either. Would oh, really? I be, would I disappoint you if I wasn't able to? You would never disappoint me. Well, let's try it. Get your VCRs ready, folks. One never knows. All right. Who wants this? All right. 
You would Thank do you. this to me. I, I didn't have a chance to ask you before. Oh, Lord, uh, Charles, where do you see this? This is amazing. This is very no, impressive. Right there, Jill. You have to move this because I don't know how okay. far over I have to. Right. Challenges again. Oh my, my whole life has been one big challenge. If I don't, hello, darling. How That's Jillian Hamilton. Would you like to do this with me? Okay. Hello. I just like seeing you warm up. <laughs> Okay, Heavenly Fathers and Mothers and Sisters and Brothers, be with me because I have to do this with the Earth! Oh, yeah. My daughter will kick to her and will be very proud. <laughs> what do you That's say to incredible. that? Yeah. Pretty impressive. Oh. You see what happens when you're challenged. I'm telling you, Charles Very Keating nice. is with us. Eartha Kitt will be staying with us. Charles Keating from Another World has been on and off that show for about 13 years, and he'll be telling us all about his work with Olivier and being a hairstylist and lots of other great stuff. We also have the beautiful sounds of the Boys Choir of Harlem. They're also going to be modeling a little stuff for us later. And Suzanne Wong is in SeaWorld with a man who doesn't train dogs, he trains killer whales. And we'll meet him when Fox After Breakfast continues. <laughs> That's the only way I can do it. Nice, Tom. <laughs> to Fox After Breakfast live from 212 Fifth Avenue with Tom Laurie and Bob the Puppet. I'm your announcer, Nancy Giles. Mm. Oh, danke, danke. Uh, Eartha Kitt at the Carlisle in New York in January. Yeah. Also, you can see her currently in Harriet the Spy. Charles Keating will talk to you a little later from another world. We're taking you to Orlando, Florida and to Barrow, Alaska this hour, so stick around. And Laurie's with... And Eartha Kitt are going to be hitting the streets of New oh, York. They've that. asked you about this, right? Oh, yes. They, uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so New York, get ready. And also, we're going to go to the top of the world, Barrow, Alaska, and meet the people who live there. Right after the break, stay with us. Welcome back to Fox After Breakfast, live from New York City with Tom Laurie and Bob the Puppet. I'm your announcer, Nancy Giles. I was just I was just giving Lori uh, my wife's cure for a sore throat: gargle with apple cider vinegar, then swallow it. Charles and Arthur don't agree. I agree with me. So? We'd rather be sick than have to swallow apple cider vinegar. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it sounds horrendous, but yeah. yeah. I mean, nature takes care of anything anyway. Yeah, so why indeed bother? Indeed, it does. Indeed, it does. And an example of that is this is a wonderful segue from the cultural and environmental differences in our country, from Alaska to Orlando, and to the Flatiron District of New York. You ready to go outside with me? Oh, We're going to go for a stroll. Have fun, you guys. Meet some of the neighbors. New Eartha York's Kitt, get us ready. Eartha Kid is going outside. And Charles, you can stay in here with me. Fox uh -huh. uh -huh. right back. <laughs> You'll meet, you meet this lovely woman. She runs our, uh, our hot dog car right across the street. Welcome back to Fox After Breakfast, live from 212 Fifth Avenue with Tom, Laurie, and Bob the Puppet. I'm your announcer, Nancy Giles. Thank you very much, Nancy. Just saw our visiting family. They finished their breakfast, and they're going to enjoy a, a little outdoor tour that Tom and Eartha Kitt are going to give us. This is Charles Keating from Another World, and uh, right downstairs is where Tom has taken Eartha Kitt. Tom? Yeah, we can, we've got the uh, watch out for killer cabs. <laughs> New York killer cabs. Eartha, I would like to introduce you to uh, one of the neighbors here. This is uh, the uh, Madison Square Park, sort of our backyard yeah. on Fox After Breakfast. And this is our neighborhood street vendor. Anka, how are you? I'm Tom, Hello. remember me? Hello. Excuse us, sir. Excuse We're just. Me, sir. Just to, what's your Hello. name, sir? Dennis. Dennis, and what are you dining on here? Uh, two hot dogs. Two hot dogs from Anka, and this is her specialty. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anka, we'll let you finish this transaction. Then if you could just come out and say hi. Eartha, Anka. Hi. Anka, hi. Eartha. Oh, man. Oh. It's, uh... Now, Anka Popescu no, is, no. is uh, here from Romania, and, uh, and she's set up here. They've actually opened earlier in the day to help facilitate the crowds that you can see gathering yeah. because of Fox After Breakfast. Stand the, back, folks. Stand back. throngs of people. <laughs> yes. Anka, come on out here just for a second. <laughs> would yeah, you like something? Would you like something? I would like, Anka, I would like very much to have one of your hot dogs. And I would like to know what the recipe is, actually. You have a special... My secret. <laughs> I you have a secret one? recipe? Yeah. I want a pretzel. Uh, what is it? Can you tell us? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, she won't talk. I wanted now. to use it in my cookbook. Yeah, it, but... Yeah. 
No. Okay. <laughs> no. I right. give it for myself. Anytime you like to eat a hot dog, come to me. Okay. It will be a pleasure. But you won't you. tell us the recipe secret. You don't mind. Oh. Anka, when did you when did you come here from Romania? In ninety two. Ninety two? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever think you'd become a national television hot dog celebrity? No. No. Yeah. That could happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, could you give uh, Earth a get a hot dog? Was it difficult for you to get to the United States? How did you get, how did you go about coming to America? Uh, my husband is a Romanian, and uh, he came here like 10 year, 15 years ago. Yes. And uh, he, when he decided to get married, yes. he came in my country and he met me. Uh -huh. well, good. It's good to have you as They're part of They're both very our, lucky people. Yeah, yeah, as part of our extended family. Anka Babescu yes. will help you uh, fill your tummy when you visit us in the Flatiron District of New York City. Yeah, Thank perhaps you, some extra mustard, Tom. Okay. All right, we'll bring very one nice up for you, Bobby. You. Yeah. Laurie? You. I gotta tell you, Charles Keating is begging for a hot dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little early for us. I was just wondering what was in him. Oh, yeah, well, she won't tell you. No. I think no. that's clear. Uh -huh. Not even if you've got a uh, cookbook coming Not up. Not even for ready money. Well... Welcome back to Fox After Breakfast, live from 212 Fifth Avenue with Tom, Laurie, and Bob the Puppet. I'm Nancy Giles. Yeah, Good for a cold, pretzel. Laurie. Those yeah, Anka's that's, hot dogs are great for a cold. Where's Thanks my pretzel? Thanks to Anka <laughs> and the M&T Pretzels people for that. Now, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. Let's, let's thank some people. The Boys Choir yeah. of Harlem, a wonderful job. BCA. Charles Keating from Another World. Earth and Kit. Yes, I'm going to make Charles Keating. Our visiting viewers are our wonderful road warriors and friends. Both in Orlando, Florida with Suzanne yeah. Wong. Suzanne, great stuff there. <laughs>